Hello everyone and welcome to my let's play of Master of Orion. When last we left off, we discovered the Sakura Brood and we started colonizing this half of the galaxy. When well, I even half, more of a quarter. We've basically taken over most of this area. We just need to kill that dirty rotten space eel. The evil space eel. And we promised not to colonize an area around here. I mean, that's not so bad. It is a rich tundra planet. But this is a toxic, so it doesn't really matter. We are defending this area against the Sakura, and I haven't really decided yet if we're just once we are able to discover how to go through this warp point. You know, I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to kill them or befriend them. I'm leaning on killing them, though they are quite powerful. Anyways, so let's start the next turn. Let's see, what else do I plan on doing? gonna colonize is it just Ching Prime I guess which is better Ching Prime or Ching 3 well it seems that the radiated planet is actually better and I can actually build ships to uh, help defend it and you know what how about this can you go there no you cannot okay never mind so it's in Firas we're gonna start moving how about we move them off this? We don't need as much research from them as you know, as you might think. And we need a government support facility. How's pollution? Pollution's okay. All right, you can go up there. Once good government support, he should be fine. All right, next turn. We got plenty of stuff building up there. Awesome. So you can move. The new fleet needs orders. Who are you? Oh, so we're building up our cruiser fleet. Send them down here. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to kill them. Just because. Because I decided. Plus, they aren't defending against us. So, And it looks like I can just jump from here to here into an, and then into Orion. So later in the game, once I'm able to destroy the uh, Guardian there. Okay, let's move you here. Okay, this is also eventually going to need a government support facility. And this is going to need an automated factory, too. Okay. Let's just continue on. And this is almost terraformed. Yes! That should terraform, right? Yeah, it's, it's going to terraform into a Terran planet. It's going to mean we have three Terran planets. Awesome. See, Furas is expanding quite rapidly. So do we do we have anything else that can increase? No. Hollow simulator? Yeah, there you go. Hollow simulator. That'll increase morale up to 100%, meaning no one's going to start rising up. Let's see, everyone move. Let's see, we got terraforming done. It is now Terran. Let's choose production of that place. Uh, Does it need a hollow simulator? Yes, it does. Okay. So with a hollow simulator and... Radiation shield, I guess. You can use defense. You can always use defense. Alright, and continue on. Tetris Prime has grown again. It's all the way up at 10 now. Jeez. Alright, so we have a colony ship and a cruiser. You're both moving that way. Destroy the space eel! And yes, we are definitely going to watch this battle. Cause I want to see what the space eel does. Sanguinous discovered, Zenith discovered. Huh. Yet these don't connect. Weird. We still have that anomaly to check out, but we need a scout. And I, I don't think I'm going to build a scout until I get the right technology to, uh, you know, warp between these areas. Alright, everyone move. Another anomaly. Oh, wow, that is far away. And somehow we can still warp to it. I don't. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so you guys... Is, yeah, we're definitely going to destroy it. But let's watch it anyways. Space Eel! I've never seen the Space Eel. Oh, that's a beautiful sound. And what does the Space Eel look like? Ooh, it 
it looks nothing like an eel. It looks more like kind of like a dragon, I guess. Whatever. Oh, and it, it's big. Jeez. Why do all space creatures have to be massive? I mean, that's a. What if there was like a. Oh, jeez, that's loud. How's that have a shield? Eel! Oh. 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 And it exploded. <laughs> okay, apparently space eels can shoot lasers. That makes sense. All right, now we're going to be colonizing the tundra. I don't think we've seen this yet, so I'm going to keep it. It's a pretty crap planet. <laughs> I mean, poor minerals really doesn't help, but, you know. So we're going to start off with some food. It doesn't have, like, low gravity or anything, right? No, it's not. All right, so food stuff, biosphere, hydroponic farms, you know, the normal, normal stuff. You can't, yeah, you can't. You need a scout for that. All right, next turn. We built a new cruiser. We have quite the fleet now. Let's see, we're at 26 of 26. And we're still building a cruiser. Okay, we can't build that now. You need to start construction. Don't need hollow simulator. Maintenance too. Um, we do need a scout. Let's just build one scout. It's going to bring us over... So we also need to build a starbase somewhere. But where, oh where? So we build it here? Yeah, let's build it here. All right. That way we have a starbase that's gonna increase our command points. There you go. We should also probably, oh, GNN. Oof. Now that is close. This is going to be a bloody war when it happens. Threatening fleet detected. Uh oh. Oh. It's just a guardian. Yes, I know that. He's not, oh, did we get it? Yep, we can go through unstable warp zones now. Hooray! So now we're just going to go. Is it xenology, I guess? Why not? Majestic! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we need as much food here? We do not. Uh, let's put into research. Nope. And we're not going to use much of that anyways. So why don't you just start... How's the pollution? It's at 4%. It's fine. Um, oh, well, since we just built a new starbase, we can build more cruisers, I guess. So yeah, let's start on that. I guess we're going to bring these back down. Think staying at zero pollution is going to be fine. We got eight turns. Good enough. Okay, so you can look at these anomalies. Actually, go there and then the anomaly. We could build more scouts. That's just really a waste, I feel. We don't need to discover everything. You just build more food. Actually, how many people can live on this planet? Eight. Okay. Automated factory, research lab, you know, the normal. All right, next turn. Koath Prime has grown. I don't know where that is. Oh, it's up here. I think. That's it. Koath, yep. All right, next turn. And now, the new GNN. Yes! So now it's rich. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I believe that means more like, production, I guess? What does artifacts mean? Yeah, that doesn't really make sense. How do I have artifacts on my home planet? Like, are they just artifacts for myself? Just control and improve the simulation rate. Um, 
you know, let's do that. Since we're never going to actually conquer a planet, we're just going to blow them all up. Because of super alloys, reinforced hull, heavy armor, done. Uh, we're also going to build a space factory. Wherever that may be. All right, there it is. Build a space factory so we can actually build a um, starbase in that area that's kind of contested. Ooh, look at it. Look at that. It's a shield. Very nice shield. Okay, so you... How about you build a colony ship? You've got plenty of people. You move over there. Soil enrichment. Research lab. Space elevator. Let's actually build a neutron collider sooner. Alright. Fleet needs orders. You... You can go over there. VRS has grown. Good. Oh, what, what is this? Oh, I see. That's good. They actually automatically moved it. We need more money. More research per cell. That's good. Uh, we don't need as much money right now. Let's do research first. All right, so more production in Fieras. Fieras, do you need? You do need more. Just, you can hold a ton of people here. Let's do a moon lab. And soil enrichment, so you can just get more food in general. All right, next turn. This guy's taking a sweet time. Oh, I forgot to move him here. Oh, dang it. Or I guess to do him now. This gives me what? New tech? Or just money. That's cool too. Um. Next, you move out there. Let's move to those planets. Once you're ready, I guess. You know, it's all up to you. New research. Hmm. Let's do resilience. Cause. It basically does the same thing, I guess. Why do these have... No, it's it's a beta, you know. Well, not beta, but early access. So, of course, you'd have the same, you know, picture for it. Let's do ion drives. We can't upgrade one ship? Really? Huh. Alright, well, guess this is going to get moved over to here. Choose production. You. How's the pollution? Plus one. Just do pollution cleanup. Why not? Actually, you can probably just start our all moving over to research. So we can do better research faster. Yay. Fleet needs orders. Oh. And what do we have here? We just have a gas giant. Well, what do we have down here? Next turn. It's taking 15 turns to get down there. Jeez. Next, next turn. Probably should have moved him to tell him where to go. And what is this? Oh, Cylons. Pleased to meet you. This is the controller of the Cylon Quantum. I am certain we have much to learn from each other. Yep. You see, these guys are always so technologically advanced, and yet their ships look so basic. What's up with that? All right, so we're going to diplomacy with them. Welcome back. Let's see. Share star charts. Establish embassies. And yeah, that should be good. What would make this work? I find this an All right. Great minds think alike. That's good enough for me. Anything else? Trade treaties? What would make it work? I'm afraid it's objectively not feasible. Okay. Farewell, stranger. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have disabled the uh, diplomacy game. Oh, these are totally at war with one another, aren't they? Nice. Why is it that they have circles but I don't? Maybe it's just easier to see? Oh no, it's because they have um, actual star bases. Which remind me, I better start building more space factories so I don't, you know, start, you know, so I can build one down 
here. Or maybe I can't. Because it's not my land. Huh. Anyway, let's just send them down there. Next turn. We are at our limit. What happens? I think if you go over, nothing much really happens. Combat speed bonus, travel speed. Yeah, ion drive. Of course we're doing ion drive. You kidding me? All right, so macro physics. All right, macro economics. Or advanced construction, fighter bays, battle pods. Yeah, let's just keep it like that. Here, we don't really need to build much. Let's do trade goods, I guess. Oh, it costs money to research. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Setu's Prime. Grown again. You have discovered what? Toxic. Toxic rich. Arid abundant. Okay, that I think that's going to be a good area. So you can go into here. We're getting kind of close to the Sakura Brood, but I think this is where we're going to end this colonization right here. We can keep this area. That looks like a gas giant and just one planet. It's good enough. <laughs> Galactic trading. Advanced Space Factory, yay! Oh, this is definitely gonna help. We need more money. More money! More money, more problems. Alright, so this one's gonna do government support facility, and a hollow simulator so that you can get 100% morale. Morale is important to people, apparently. <laughs> Disgusting. So we can move them down there. We discover, what is this? A Tundra Abundant Oof. It's a pretty nice planet. Alright, GNN. Ah. So now... So now, if I attack the Sakura Brood, they'll be distracted. Huh. This is good. This is very, very good. Very, very good. Um... Do we really need anything? No, I guess just the colony ship's fine. Can we actually change the look of the colony ship? I don't think I can, no. Whatever. Fleet needs orders. You can go down to there. It's very straightforward. Alright. Continue on. Uh Oh, I could have colonized. Dang it. Is it colonized arid? I don't think we've seen arid. We've seen desert, but not arid. Look at it. There's some green. Yay. It's nice. And it's a very nice picture. It looks like the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Where's it? You... Biosphere, hydroponic farm. Alright. Where else can we go? Oh, we got some more. So that means we can build... Hmm, I guess one more facility. What is this? Baron? Medium Baron, yep. Oh, jeez, that jump. Look at that. It's a huge jump. Let's go to... Asterian. I'm a, so humans are over here, right? I'm assuming Bullrathy's up here. So, yeah. Come on. So now, the space factory, you can't build? What, what can you build? No, you can't. Okay, you can do space surveillance. I don't, I don't know what that even does. So, you know, just go back to, um, Whatever this is called. 
play this play this uh, why don't all of you just move back you move there we need to upgrade these ships space factory upgrade so advanced construction. Okay, so what's up with the mil uh, not military, but path to victory? So we are number one in excellence. They're number one in conquest. We're just behind them. The Cylon. If we work together with the Cylon. What do they got right here? It's 5,500. 5, sorry. And I have 13,000. I could cripple them. If only I tried. So we're going to upgrade all these guys, right? We're going to upgrade them. Go back to Playdis. You can build a spaceport. We're going to upgrade those guys. Then we're going to attack. We need to take them out before, you know, they take over the Cylon. Because I don't think the Cylon are all that good at fighting. Right, so you can colonize. Where? This area. Alright, Firas, once you're done with that, uh, make sure you do atmospheric and toxic processor. Good enough. I'll make sure their whole, you know, environment doesn't collapse. But you can go there. Got new research. Raylon discovered. Do, 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 do. And this, now we've discovered two new barren planets. Yep. You can go up there. Oh, wow. Those are some anomalies. Jeez. Fleet needs orders. What is that fleet? One cruiser. You can go there. Can you upgrade? No, you cannot. The rest of you are right there. All right. Right, GNN. Galactic News Network. And now, the state of the galaxy. Current number of colonies. Yay! Silent and Sakura are right next to each other. Jeez. Alright, so you guys... Who can upgrade? No one can upgrade. Alright. So, a total of 15,000. We're going to place them right there. VRS has grown. Battle pods. Uh... And what else? Planetology, subterranean farms. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then you can build military outposts. I know we're at our limit, but once this is done, we'll just delete him. Move along. Next turn. What else we got? Nothing much. What are you? Oh, the colony ship. Alright. So we have a barren rich. Huge radiated rich. Yeah, we're going for that one. So now you grabbed all these anomalies. This one is... The anomaly turns out to be a, a destroyer 5. Yeah, so we go into a deficit once we have too much. So you, you need to die. Crap. Alright. No, die. Dang it. You. How do I, you can't tell them to die that closely. Dang it. Alright, so we'll land on this irradiated planet. Which we haven't seen yet, so yay. Oh god, that looks horrible. Oh, my eyes. Why would anyone want to live here? Jeez, you can see the little radiation on it. The sun looks pretty, though. At least it's huge, right? Alright, so this. We have hydroponic farms, biospheres. We'll eventually build this place up. Choose new research. Thank you. Molecular, com molecular compression. Alright. Choose production. This guy's 
Right, this is the low gravity planet. Which choose more production. Cloning center. We need more people. Do do do. Meaningful exchange. Ah, yes. Non aggression pact. You are our friends. Is this the test of our patience? Shut up, Sakura. We tried to be friends with you, man. We thought you were cool. Okay, keep going. Alright, so we're gonna delete who? This guy. Who is this guy? Destroyer. You. Get trashed. Scrap him. So now you, you can really just auto-explore. It doesn't really matter. Don't go to Orion, you idiot. Ugh. This is why we don't uh, explore. And with that, I think we're going to end this episode. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. It's been about 20, 25 minutes. Um, in the next episode, hopefully we'll declare war on the Sakura Brood and take them down with the Cylons. Hopefully the Cylons don't just try to kill us. And uh, I think that's it. So uh, see you in the next video.